A Bitcoin is one of the single most valuable things in the world. Today, we're going to be looking at just exactly what does it take to mine one Bitcoin. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosscoin YouTube channel, home of the cutest Dogecoin in the world. A mini Bitcoin miner, the Antminer S9, an absolutely legendary piece of gear. As cryptocurrency continues to grow, it's only going to become harder and harder to compete as, you know, the little guy. Once upon a time, Bitcoin was mined with CPUs. And even in the original Bitcoin white paper, it was one CPU, one vote. But Bitcoin mining was quickly industrialized and more expensive, more advanced hardware started to mine it graphics cards, FPGAs, and then ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuit miners. These are purpose built machines. And while you can run these at home, they were really built with industrial mining farms in mind. And they've only gotten bigger, more powerful. And although they consume more electricity than ever, they are also more efficient than they've ever been. All they need is one or two power cables, an ethernet cable for internet, and they start mining. But before you think you're gonna put one of these in maybe your bedroom or your house or close to you, whatever, make sure you fully understand what they sound like. Here's what some of my Bitcoin miners sound like. Right now, a Bitcoin is about 17 grand, $16,900. That brings the market cap to over $300 billion. And Bitcoin did a cool 17 billion in trading volume in the last 24. Bitcoin has come down significantly from its all time highs. For example, it's down about 75% from its all time high. How many Bitcoins are there though? So there's over 19 million Bitcoins in existence. There's a total capped finite supply of 21 million Bitcoin. Over 91% of the Bitcoins have been issued, which means there's a little bit less than 2 million Bitcoins left to mine and 900 Bitcoins are mined per day. There's a big event on the horizon that happens every four years and we are less than a year and a half away from it which has a substantial impact on basically getting into the mining game and how that can impact you. So the Bitcoin halving cuts the Bitcoin block reward from six and a quarter to three and one eighth. So basically that means that in 455 days, the amount of Bitcoin mined per day will be cut in half. To put that into perspective, in the last 24 hours, 16 million Bitcoin was mined. The coin that produces the second most issuance now, that Ethereum can no longer be mined, is Dogecoin. Dogecoin emits about $1 million in Dogecoins per day. So just keep that in mind, if nothing changed, we will be on track to have $8 million of Bitcoin mined per day. Substantially changing profitability projections. However, the halving has historically always predated a Bitcoin bull run and new all time highs that make you wish you were mining last year and the year before that and the year before that and the year before that. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud. The devices are expensive and there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. So I've got numerous Bitcoin miners. Here's data from one of them. Uh, just you know, recently, about the time of recording this video, I'm mining with about 134 terahash a second with this miner. I'm earning about 0 0.0004733 that really translates to about 47,000 Satoshis. Satoshis is kind of like pennies on the dollar for Bitcoins, right? You have a micro unit of Bitcoins. Instead of this 0. .0000, you're just like, dude, 47,000 Satoshis. Looking at the mining insights here from Brains, we can kind of take a timestamp of just what's the hash rate 
the network difficulty, recent difficulty adjustments, mining revenue per day, taking another data point here, this puts 16 million out there as well. We can see historical data, and of course just everything in between. To show you how drastically mining revenue has decreased just in the last year, about a year ago, $40 million or more in Bitcoin was being mined per day. Very substantial, more than 2x, closer to a 3x addition in daily mining revenue. There hasn't been a halving or anything, just Bitcoin's price has gone down, which drags it down. So let's get to the point. How do we mine one Bitcoin? What does it take? We're going to be focusing and building this around the Bitmain Ant Miner S19 XP. Shameless plug, subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel, check out our videos. For example, we've gotten our hands on the S19 XP, one of the most efficient and best Bitcoin miners out right now, and reviewed it and run all the data, numbers, performance, real world mining profitability there. We're gonna run all of our projections on using that basically latest and greatest miner. I'll talk a little bit more about miners and manufacturers here uh, to round out the video at the end, but, but I wanna get situated, get to the point here. Basically, it's the best miner within reason that you can buy for Bitcoin without using liquid cooling, hydro cooling, immersion cooling, things like that. So it mines 140 terahash a second. It's basically, think of a car, horsepower, when it comes to mining, you get hash power. And so we got 140 terahash. It consumes about 3,000 watts. That's a lot. That would be like a big major space heater in your home, uh, your dryer. You know, just it's power hungry. These things also operate on 240 volts. So that means you can't just plug it into a typical outlet in your house if you're in the United States. There's a little bit more to it, but I wanna keep this video focused. We have an electricity guide if you're seriously thinking about getting into this, which you should check out to make sure you do it safely and efficiently. We're gonna run the numbers at five cents per kilowatt hour, then we're gonna to go to 10 cents, and then we're gonna to go to 12 cents. It's kinda, of, I'll explain this as we go along, but five cents per kilowatt hour is a very good electric rate these days, and it's something that many mining, major Bitcoin mining farms have. So with this miner, they're pulling about $5 in profit per day, or mining about 0.0005162 or 51,000 Satoshis. So if you had just this miner, you'd be projected to mine one Bitcoin in 1,900 days well after a halving and all kinds of other things. But my focus is how do I mine one Bitcoin in the next year, especially as the next 365 days give me a runway prior to the Bitcoin halving. So one of these would pull about 0.2 Bitcoin, not including power costs and other things like that. What we're gonna need is not one of these, but eight of them. So let's input eight. So for 840 terahash, consuming 18,000 watts at five cents per kilowatt hour, you'd be pulling 30 bucks a day in profit. Sweet. Over the next year, you would earn 1.13 Bitcoin. The bad news though, is that you would spend almost $8,000 in electricity, but you'd still be pulling 11 grand. How much do these things cost though? So these are the most efficient miners out, generally speaking, you can buy, which means they're carrying a premium. You can get a similar hash rate for about half the price, but a lot of good Bitcoin miners, like just from the S19 generation, sell for around $2,000. This model in particular though, is actively fetching four or five grand a unit. But here's how drastically things change with your electricity bill. So if we bump this electric rate up to 10 cents per kilowatt hour, also keep in mind, I didn't say this, but we did input a standard pool fee of 1%, which is standard if not paying more. So just your mining pool fee alone, you know, eats $191 of uh, the, the money you're making, your, the money you're mining. Uh, so at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, your electric bill is over 15 grand, almost 16 grand. So yeah, you'd mine 1.13 Bitcoin, but you would spend the majority of that Bitcoin on your electricity bill, you'd only bring home about $3,000, which is just kind of crazy. Keep in mind that your hardware investment to get this would be $30,000. Three years ago, you could have done this for eight grand with the S17. And keep in mind that this hardware has a cost. So to do that with these machines I'm talking about would cost you about $8,000. Don't worry though, the higher electricity rate, 
the worse it gets. If you're paying 12 cents per kilowatt hour, it's basically just not even worth it with one of the best Bitcoin mining rigs. So again, you'd mine the same amount of Bitcoin, you got the same pool fee, and you'd basically pay 19 grand in electric and you're pretty much mining 19 grand worth of Bitcoin, putting $38 in your pocket at the current costs. So, you know, it's 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 a little crazy. I'll talk about some some good things, some bad things, and a little bit of hopium. So th these are some of the Bitcoin miners from Bitmain. I have no relationship with them, uh, anything like that. They're they're honestly a terrible company, ethics and things like that. Uh, but they make some of the best Bitcoin miners. So it is what it is, right? You get the S19 Pro, 100 terahash, 3,000 watts for like two grand, or you get the S19 XP. They list it there at six grand. They consistently deal in bulk, three, four, five grand resellers like coin mining central which you can also get a discount on your order with our code uh, which i'll link out down below uh, you can get this miner over there depending on the model somewhere between six and five grand and as always with anyone in a market like this the more you buy the better deals you get some major mining farms are going bankrupt we've been talking about this we've toured we've been on foot in their facilities we toured them on site everything like that they're shutting down more and more mining rigs for example 37,000 mining rigs associated with celsius network and their celsius mining division and, and all that bankruptcy drama uh, everything on that front uh, but you know it's easy to to just kind of discount all of this in bitcoin mining uh when the reality is is that you know bitcoin's a 17 grand and i firmly believe that bitcoin's going to hit one hundred thousand dollars in the future next year i hope this year will be awesome two years probably uh, you know it's not financial advice do whatever the hell you want to do I remember a couple years ago, I was like, like Bitcoin does something crazy and goes to like 40 grand. Yeah, it pretty much ended up going to 60 grand. And a lot of these cycles have kind of seen Bitcoin do a 10x. And I think that, you know, with some catastrophic news, maybe Bitcoin trends even lower down towards like 10 grand or even 12 grand. And then it starts its trajectory towards $100,000, $120,000. A lot of people may laugh and make fun of people uh, who think that. But I mean, Bitcoin proves many wrong again and again and again so i love this stuff i believe in this stuff i'm not trying to push it on anybody i run all these numbers because i'm trying to build out a medium-sized bitcoin mining farm power with solar pay off all my gear and then i'm just in the green having a good time we'll see where it goes as always but uh yeah if you like this content at all subscribe stick around i will see you on the next one hopefully thank you for watching